So hello everyone, welcome to uh, another Rust Decay server, but this time, it's only five times. It's still PvE, but it has zombies. Whatever that means. Never dealt with uh, zombies and rust before. I imagine a sword's probably going to help. Maybe. Uh, what's happening here? I don't know what's happening. Come on, Rustic K. Don't be like this. Oh, there we go. I don't know what I redeemed. Yeah. Rust Decay server, 5 times zombie purge, PvE, zombies, optional, PvP, NPC survival. Uh, so yeah, whatever that means, we are now here. And we're going to find out, essentially, what that means. I have no idea how well or poor this is gonna go uh i imagine let's head over to junkyard it's probably a pvp zone but i don't got a lot right now except for a backpack you know what i will keep that spear out just spear in the tools <clears throat> i get those just from spawning on the beach so Go ahead and keep those. Now, I've never played any Rust servers with zombies before. So, I'm going to be completely honest. I have no idea what to expect. But I imagine there's going to be more NPCs trying to kill me. See, I, I just... I've never dealt with zombies on Rust before, so I, I, I honestly, I'm flying blind here. I don't know what I'm expecting. All I know is I'm going to be on the server for a couple hours, and I'm hoping I get up to some zombie shenanigans, because, let's be honest, hordes of zombies are fun, man. We are going to head straight to Junkyard right now. And uh, we will see what happens from there. I'm assuming we have regular day-night cycles still. But I would assume then that zombies would spawn at night. But then I would also say it's kind of weird how I haven't ran into a single zombie yet. Very weird indeed. I mean, I lit a torch in everything to make sure that nothing jump scares me in the middle of the night. We'll put that torch away for now. So far, I'm very confused. Is there anything different on this server? I mean, we do get pumpkins. Pumpkins are huge. Oh, God. Don't need sulfur. Now, if I find a stone node, I'm definitely going to hit the stone node. I guess we'll pick up some metal ore. Wouldn't hurt to have. I'm just not 100% sure what I'm supposed to be doing other than just playing Rust, man. 
Are the zombies at the monuments? Is that what it is? I don't see a dome around a junkyard, so... This has me... Oh, yeah, no, there is a dome. This is going to be PvP enabled. Well, push comes to shove, I lose a spear, a uh, pickaxe, and an axe. Maybe I'll put those away, just in case. Push comes to shove, I lose a spear. I'm sorry, what was that? That was a noise that I'm not quite familiar with. Alright, so we'll let that hack. It takes five minutes. We'll go ahead and just loot up Junkyard. Mirrors that music kind of following me. Okay, no, it's just over there. I mean, we still got the pretty buffed chests. So I'm not. Okay, that's a little terrifying. Oh my god, what are those? Oh no, they saw me. Oh my god, they're fast! Oh no! Hopefully they can't do P- They can't do- They can't climb! That was a bean can. Oh god. Oh no, they found their way up. I'm out of here. Nope. Climb? I can't get up there. Oh my god. Man, you guys are terrifying. Well, I was very close. You guys should be more careful with those uh, grenades. Okay, they're getting very close with those grenades, and I am dead. Oh, I'm very much dead. Yep. Okay. <laughs> what the... <laughs> All right, well, now I kind of want to get... Where am I? Oh, I'm even further down. Okay. Uh, wait, I dropped my backpack, too? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oof. There's more to lose on this server. Well... I do want to head back up to Junkyard. But I would like to be a little bit more prepared this time. Let's see, we got a welcome kit here. No? Oh, okay, but no, I got it. Okay, well that's gonna help out quite a bit actually. Like, that's going to help out a lot more than, than you know. I'll put... I'll just put this stuff away. And, uh, yeah, we're going to go back and... We're going to settle that score. I'm not willing to take that kind of crap laying down, man. Problem is, it is really far away. It's okay, we'll make it there. We'll get there. Hopefully no one else will be there. And uh, we'll kill those zombies. Get our crate that we started hacking. And then we could get down a base, a foundation. A start for us on this server. And then we'll play it for the month. You know, we'll, we'll survive. We'll see what happens. See what shenanigans we get up to. It's 
gotta be we gotta be able to get up to some good shenanigans here. I highly doubt it's just gonna be super smooth sailing the whole time, and this is my one encounter with zombies. That was hot, dude. Like, I'm confident in my abilities. I don't know if I'm that confident. That's a lot of zombies to be dealing with with uh, essentially nothing. Thankfully, it looks like they're all using melee weapons and just explosives. So are they going to be along the roads too? I guess that would be something to know. That kind of information could be extremely helpful in the long run. Why, why do they have a cable running across the back of their base? Oh, I was going to say, did they build so close to the rock that I can't get past? Now we chilling. Oh, my headphones are doing that weird glitch thing where I lose it every second or so. I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm gonna take the uh, rad suit. I mean, since I lose my backpack, I'm just gonna be using it as extra storage space. Maybe you only lose it in the PvP area, I don't know. My headphone's still doing that glitch, so we're gonna put on auto run, turn this off for a second. Okay, maybe not. There are two bears there. Wait a second. Uh, I don't have audio back yet, but I don't think I need the audio cues right now. Oh god, okay. There we go. Be back. It's not glitching. I would break those barrels, but we're in a hurry here, man. I'm trying to trying to get to that crate before someone else does. Hey, don't tell me there's a zip line that goes all the way there. That could actually be pretty big, because I can loot this stuff while I'm going, too. Oh, beautiful. Those zombies aren't going to know what hit them, dude. I'm going from coming in with nothing to having a whole arsenal at this point. Like I took that death personally. I almost walked off the edge there. Oh no, and we got more ammo for the shotgun too. Yeah, these zombies are screwed, man. Oh, we are zooming up there now thanks to the zip line. Ooh, cloth. That could actually be very helpful. I'm gonna... Okay, a camera. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna stick to the zip lines for now. Got another revolver. I think this might have... Better loot than the 15 times server. What the heck? I don't recall finding loot like this on the 15 times server. Now we do get a lot of loot on the 15 times server, though, too. Oh, yeah, we are zooming our way back. I mean, let's be honest. Will I be upset if I die again? Probably. But 
Oh my god, a laptop too? Jeez, uh. Okay. And this is gonna be the zip line where we uh take our leave. And uh this will also be where we find out if we just did a bunch of farming for someone else. It sounds like it. Hey, wolves. Actually, no, it sounds like they're over there. So if we play this right... Enter over here. We should be able to just run in, grab the crate, and get out. Maybe we won't even have to fight the zombies. We could get away with fighting the zombies in a non-PVP area. What? Kill as many NPCs as you can. Oh, I'm going in the PvP zone. This is for all the dice right here. Oh, they're all there and they know I'm here. Alright, here they come. No, they're fast, but... Oh god, they're right behind me. Jesus! Yeah, this is terrifying, dude! Oh my god! Oh my, no way, no way, man. Oh my God. I don't, I don't even wanna know where we spawn. Oh, right here, perfect. It looks like they went back to the monument too, right after I died, it looked like they started running back. So if they did, that means my body's going to be out there in the PvE area, so it shouldn't be looted. I should be able to just run up, grab my carcass. Oh god, assuming this pig doesn't have anything to say about it. Ah, looks like we're cool with the pig. Yeah, we just got to cross over a road. And we should be good to go. Finish off those last couple zombies. Those maybe top an NPC event right as we joined. Actually, I don't know that one guy. He seems to be uh, finding quite a few NPCs to kill. I could have sworn I saw something in that bush over there. Oh, it was just tires. Ah. Uh. Just gotta cross this road, and then just over that hill, we're back in business. Hopefully the zombies went back to their monument. I hate how close those gunshots are. see. Should have a dead body coming up pretty soon. I don't see any zombies. Where was I? 
Did the zombies not drop loot? It looks like we got four more left. Three more. Two more. Ow, what the hell, man? Boom, got him. Okay, they do drop burnt chicken. I'm not eating that. Oh, a bean can. Okay, there we go. That's a little bit better. There we go. Back into the PvP area. Let's try to be a little bit quicker in here. That crate's still there. I don't know how often zombies spawn. these pools out. Oh my god. Okay. Well, shit. <laughs> Wait, I think I need that pickaxe. And, uh... We'll get rid of the one cloth. We'll despawn that. Let's get out of here. That is a very healthy start. Get out of this PvP zone. Get a better weapon on the bar. Alright. Perfect. Now, that's a start. Uh, so I am going to need some wood. Actually, I want to set up camp probably over... No way it already respawned. I don't want to be too far away from this because, I mean, you saw, you saw what I got out of that. I would call that worth it, man. I do wish I had meds right now, though. Yeah, we'll we'll pretty much just set up camp over here by this uh, junkyard, oxiums. If we really need ore, we could always go to that mountain. Got some nice zip lines that go pretty far, actually. Airfield off in the distance. But if the crates are going to respawn that fast here at junkyard, we're going to want to take advantage of that. 110%. In fact, after we set up a little base of operations for ourselves, we're going to come back and get that crate again. Let's see, 4,000 wood. I think that should be enough to make something of ourselves. Get rid of the water bottle too. Then we'll craft a building plan and hammer. Yeah, we'll find a nice spot for us to lay down our, our little base of operations. At least for right now. I imagine I'm probably going to want to move more inland. Down there seems like a pretty good place too. I don't know, this map seems kind of spread out. Maybe maybe more over there would be my goal. But for right now, I mean. 
We'll just set up somewhere local. So there's Oxiums. Junkyard's that way. It's just going to be a small, I think, 2 by one starter is what we'll go with. Just something small. Nothing crazy. Just a 2 by one up on the hill. So let's see. I think I want my doors like that. If not, then please feel free to yell at me. And, uh... I will not change how my doors are laid out, but... I mean... Just upgrade all this to wood, because that's what we got at the moment. I guess that's stone. Sure. Throw that down, make a tool cupboard, a door, and a lock. And we are going to need more, uh, more wood. We'll just farm this up right here. I do like the look of this axe, I'm not gonna lie. There we go. Tool covered, check. Oh, I forgot you can't put sulfur in the tool covered anymore. Could put that though. Do those still go in there? No. Uh, so then the other thing we're going to want is a storage. I put it the right way. <laughs> ah, cool. I'll grab those back. We're going to get a storage box going here. Lock our, lock our base. And once we got a little box for storage, I'll feel a lot better about going back to, uh, probably gonna want two. I'll feel a lot better about going back to Junkyard. Uh, maybe we'll just do this right there. Put all that away. And then put all that away. Beautiful. Oh, wait. Since I lose my backpack as well, I think scrap can go in the TC. Nice. Oh, how much uptime we got? Just over a day. That ain't bad. I'll take it. So I think I'm going to take the SAR, since I'm still getting my feet wet. Grab some ammo for it. I guess that spear can just go. Now I would like to get a bag, actually. Maybe that should be my next plan of attack. Get some cloth. So I can have a bag, maybe some meds. I mean, I'm sure these mushrooms will do me just fine, but... I want to aspire to be a little more. Throw that away in there. We'll go loot this Oxium's gas station before going to the junkyard. See what's up. See if there's zombies here, too. Cause I'm getting the feeling it's just at monuments. I mean, I'm not... It's the 
doesn't look like there's anything in there. But I've been wrong before. Does this have the extra lootables too? It does. Pretty quiet so far. Take the extra rocket, man. Can't forget Rusty K has the extra lootables. Free rockets. That can be some free metal. Free food. Okay, so Oxium seems to be safe. Unless I just happen to be coming through here after someone cleared it out. We got down here a flashlight. Actually, I wouldn't mind taking that flashlight with me. Cycle some stuff down. Cycle that. You know, we'll, we'll hold on to components this time. All the components we're going to hold on to. That'll be an interesting change of pace. That was almost enough metal to uh, await. Now that will be enough metal for a metal door. Sorry, man. I just, I feel safer. Wait, isn't a metal door 75 metal? Never mind, it's 150. Your boy doesn't know what he's talking about. Let's see, I was expecting to find some clothing while we were there. I think a bear rug gives me a cloth, right? Oh, there we go. Sewing kit. That I will recycle, because that's a lot of cloth. Assuming I don't get a lot of cloth from the bear rug. I will, uh, get rid of these eat. Oh, okay, that just gave me leather. That was worthless. It's okay, we'll recycle down all the rope and stuff, rope and cloth, and uh, sewing kits. Hopefully get us a bag and some meds. Those are things that we could really use right now. What's that? Oh god, they're here. Okay, so there are zombies. Oh no. Oh god, they're very fast. Oh my god, this is bad. Okay, one left, one left. Oh god, hi! What is happening? Thank you, server. I needed to die by that zombie. That That's what I needed. With all that cloth on me that I was gonna finally have a bag, I needed to die to that zombie. That's... I had that, dude. If the server didn't freak out on me there... How far away am I? I don't know. Do I have enough? 
to do a where do, do they have where TP on this server? We do. I just hope the zombie's not still hanging around. And I know it's not my internet because it looks like the stream's flowing smoothly. Can I take that? Thank you. Nope. Oh my god. One of them has a goddamn gun! No way, dude. I don't know why I'm trying this. Oh my god. Watch, they're gonna... The zombie's gonna raid me now. But yeah, I love how the... Uh, the zombies have guns. What? I mean, I guess I should have expected that. Let's go ahead and put a bag in our base, finally. Jeez. Uh. I'm going to need two more boxes, please. And just as many meds as I can make. No, those zombies are not nice, man. Now, I will admit, this is actually quite a bit more challenging than I expected it to be. But, I mean, I guess if I just stay along the roads and I try not to pick any fights with the zombies... I should be fine. Yeah, like, look, they ran away. I think I am going to go back and finish those zombies off. Just because that was a BS death right there. I had no reason to die. comes the other one. If the server could just not freak out on me this time. Thank you. Oh, a med syringe. I only had two bullets left. Now I have five. And see, if I died because I ran out of bullets, that's my fault. Through and through. I'm not. I'm not going to eat that chicken. Okay, so the zombies will look like regular bodies after a minute or two. Alright, so now we know. And I don't know if it's just me, but those zombies seem kind of fast. Could just be me, though. Oh, I didn't grab my rockets. No way. How could I leave those rockets behind? Those beautiful rockets. Uh, so yeah, no, I would say uh, this server is a little bit more difficult than the regular Rustic A. Just a little bit, though. You know, I... Ultimately, the same experience. Yeah, no, this is actually considerably harder. Let's see, do I have any extra cloth or did I quite literally turn it all? I turned it all into bandages. Okay. Put that away, put that away. I want to go for, uh, for junkyard again. 
Did I grab more bullets? I did not. I'm about to go challenge Junkyard with nothing. Okay. I think we'll just take all of those, because we do have high velocity here, which costs the same to make, but have better velocity. So I don't know why you wouldn't use high velocity. You had the option. Oh, wait. You know what? Just because I do fear running out of bullets, we are going to bring the shotgun as well. The MSN bullets. Alright. Let's go get that crate. We'll put those away. We're going right back to Junkyard for another crate. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have zombies to deal with there again. Maybe I'll try to drag them out. See if I could use terrain to my advantage or something. Or the... I don't know if they can climb ladders. Maybe I'll use the uh, light or the... Whatever that thing's called. The zip lines. Assuming they can't use the ladder. They probably can. And how they're figuring out my parkour. What is this? That is decaying. Interesting. Ah, let's get in there. We got an entrance right over here. We'll try to be... A little more cautious this time, too, while we're at it. Oh, God! Damn! Okay, yeah, the jump scare. Love that. What is happening? What was he hitting me? What? Oh, a chainsaw. Oh, my God, dude. I don't know if we're... I don't know how, how much of this wipe we're going to be able to play on this server. Oh my god, dude, that is... Ooh. You know what? Full send in it. I, th I think we're just gonna try and get our stuff back. We're not gonna bother with that crate, because... Jesus, those zombies are actually something else, man. I guess I just got lucky with my first batch, and uh, they just didn't have guns. That one got chainsaw, a freaking shotgun. <laughs> We're gonna try and just get our body back, and I think just uh, just live the easy life for a little bit. Maybe farm the road for a little while. I don't hear them. And they do make a lot of noise. Culture event, you say. I don't even think I made it out of the PvP area. I did not. See my body right there. Oh, let's get out of here. Yeah, so, uh, my conclusion zombies are very difficult to fight here. I don't know if that's normal, like rust behaviors, uh, but god damn, dude, they, um, uh... oh wait, give me that spear back. Those zombies are something else, man. Something else. So I guess we'll try to, uh, 
Oh, we're up. We're... Oh, my God. Fucking wolf now. Get out of here. I could not catch a break, man. Yeah, we'll go ahead and just do some regular old road farming. Actually, I really should grab that rug. I don't need the planter box, though. Because that rug is good. And when I say good, I mean good cloth. Where are they? Oh, over there. Oh, we'll take the handmade shells. We are going to leave the rest of it behind, though. Need no diving tank. Although, let's be honest, that's probably the easiest way to survive on a zombies server. Is to just go where the zombies aren't. There's only one barrel in there? Oh, there we go. Let me uh, finish this bandage real quick. Thank you. And a pig! It's still the poacher event? Bathtub planter. Man, maybe I should have challenged those uh, wolves then. Maybe I just want to survive, man. Maybe that's what's going on here. I just want to live for a little bit. I think I've died four or five times on this server already. I've been on for like, what, an hour almost? 50 minutes? Actually on the server, probably 40. Wait, what? Can I please? Thank you. I would like to smack the barrel, please. So, the loot at uh, Junkyard is definitely high risk, high reward. Ah, I killed the second animal. Weren't there multiple wolves, though? Guess not. Hey, if we see another uh, animal, we'll take a whack at it. This server is definitely not as forgiving as uh, my usual 15 times build server. Hello. Uh, this is probably getting a little closer than I want to to Oxiums. I don't see anything moving there. Would probably help to know the respawn timers for these, for the zombies. But it looks like we're pretty safe to come here at the moment. Okay, nothing has respawned though. We're just going to continue past it before something does spawn. I like the scrap started floating up above. Everything else. Because most of the time when I hit a barrel, I want the scrap. Oops. I will take a revolver. Lord knows I'm gonna need it. Solar panel too, nice. Go ahead and put that on the hot bar. Just keep farming. 
a little bit. Might actually have to learn the enchantments, man. See if there's one that can uh, help me out here. I didn't realize zombies and roughs would be this difficult, man. Now, I mean, don't get me wrong. If I just avoid the monuments, I can still get plenty of loot. And I could still survive pretty well. But, what fun is that? I wonder if this server has the same rules about Puig. Barricade. I don't know if that's really going to help me much. In the time it would take me to place it, the zombies would probably just walk around it. They're really fast. Like, stupidly fast. I'll take a crossbow. I probably won't use it to defend myself, but... I'll use it for something. I'm going to head back down. Thank you. Let's jump on the road, kind of head back down to our base. I don't think the road's too dangerous, right? Like, I can run along the road without fear of death? Is that a thing? That. There we go. More barrels. I like barrels. I'm just scared something's going to jump out of them. See, and it's when I'm not scared of it anymore, when I get comfortable, that's when there's going to be something in the barrel. Okay, uh, we'll get rid of the paddle. I don't need the bow and arrow either. I'll actually swap that out. Uh, I have plenty of hatchets, actually. Thank you, though. Probably break this on here. I've got, I have a crossbow now. I can, uh. Alright, uh, maybe I thought the crossbow did more damage than it actually does. A little bit of food. We'll go ahead and eat up. It doesn't sound like it was a helicopter. I don't think it should attack me, but... God, who knows? Maybe it's zombies flying it. Small battery. We'll definitely take that. We can get some basic electronics set up, maybe. Let's see, do you think the gas station's hostile again? Does not look like it. We're going to run in. Recycle down this uh, rug. Try to get out of here. We'll check here just in case the military crate respawned. That right there was a good check. I'm glad I came down there. Salvage pick. That is very nice. 15 cloth. Okay, 
doesn't look like they respawned. So we're just gonna leave. There is a airdrop way off in the distance there. Normally I'd say let's go challenge it. See if we can get it. But I get this strange suspicion there's gonna be zombies all around it. And I haven't had the best track record with the zombies on this server yet. So I think I'm just gonna go home for the night. Maybe do a little bit of farming. Uh, first things first, though. I'm gonna take this and put it right there. I have a little bit of light. I don't think any of this goes in there. Nope. Which means I'm already running out of boxes again. Yep. Uh, it appears that storage is not my strong suit right now. Which honestly is a little ironic. Because normally the one thing I have is metric crap tons of storage. There we go. Put everything away. Only have ten rifle ammo left you know what we will put this stuff down how about that we'll put the battery right on there how am i gonna get up there your boy's not thinking give me half that building plan put a Foundation, staircase, and which way is north? That way. That actually kind of works out perfectly. And of course, I don't have a wiring tool. Why would I? Go ahead and put that back. I don't have any high quality metal. That would be why. Um, right. I have a lot of components I could recycle down, though. Tempting. Tempting, indeed. Let me make a large box real quick. And then what do I need for a tier 1 workbench? Scrap, metal frags, wood. Well, I don't have enough metal frags anymore. Uh, what about a furnace? I'm gonna need... 50 low grade, I have 25. Oh my god. Now I think even in here, I only have five. There we go. That'll give us a little bit more storage. By a little bit more storage, I mean, uh, go ahead and put the components in this box. There we go. And then, oh wait, I, how did I miss a component, man? God, that chicken needs to stop, man. Chicken's making me scared for no reason. I'll put that in there, too. Grab that. Just a little bit of box organizing. I do have a surprisingly large amount of stuff to organize, so. I say that 
as I'm playing on a five time server. Don't worry about it. Uh, da, 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 da. You know what? Let's actually. We'll leave the tools in that box. There we go. Nice and easy. Look at that. Actually, I am going to toss those because I have quite a bit of other stuff. Ah, cool. Yeah, we're just going to go out and do a little bit of farming real quick. Just farming trees. I don't even know where the X went. Did they make it easier to farm at night? Yes. Is it easy to farm at night? No. I have no clue where that X went. Doesn't matter. Tree's down. Man, I might as well just hit the tree randomly. And I think there's people still doing like the raid bases and stuff like that on this server. That's crazy, man. That's 8,000 wood. Let's get a little bit more going. Cause I'd like to think I'm at furnaces going soon. I mean, obviously, the progression is nowhere near the speed of the 15 times. Jeez, uh. Well, it's probably docking at the harbor. Actually, no, I don't see it. Oh, it's a, oh, it's going up to that harbor. I guess that is an option for it to do. That's where I see the X, man. Alright, 15,000 wood should be more than enough. We're gonna just leave that there for now. There we go. Now, I would like to go challenge that. Problem is, I just, I don't have the artillery... I would like to have. So I think what we're going to do. We're going to go for it. Just with. A couple bullets. Bandages. Some magic mushrooms. We're going to head up to that harbor. And uh, see what it's all about. Well, we'll be fighting some scientists, but I think that'll be fine, right? Close quarters, we'll just use this. We should be able to take them out pretty quickly, I would assume. Gotta be mindful of the water in front of me. I'm sorry, did that say that he killed the helicopter or the helicopter killed him? I don't know. Should have brought a pickaxe with me. Mine some ores on my way there. Nah, who needs a mine ore? Okay. It's cool. Wait, did that actually... See, if I see someone... The hell was that? I don't actually see anyone here.
maybe it'll be worth it. Oh man, I am that guy. I don't want the damn building plan. Nope. I think it's getting on the move. Actually, I could use another door. Thank you, my guy. Your donation is greatly appreciated. I thought there was an ego. Oh, yeah. Okay. So I need to get over to that harbor then. <laughs> B7. Oh god, that's out in the water. Alright, so since we gotta go to the other harbor, I am gonna run depot this stuff back at home. Ah. I don't see it popping up saying don't build with twig, but it's fine. And that's how the server was way back when I started on it. I imagine it hasn't changed much. Most likely in the rules still. Don't leave your base twig. Which is why I upgraded mine to wood, despite not wanting to waste the wood. Uh, let me depot what I can there. Actually, I think we might take that with us. Components go in there. Y'all go in there. And uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and put a second door on our base. Look at that. Living big. Thank you to whoever that was in your kind donation, even though you weren't even in your base. I don't know who you were. But also, you probably shouldn't leave your base open like that. Why do I hear a helicopter? See, that says helicopter killed. I still hear a helicopter. Probably be really mindful running past these monuments here. I think I'm safe. Oh, I should be really careful going to harbor. I just realized there's probably gonna be zombies at the harbor. Oh no. This is probably gonna be a heist of all heists. Forget the Wait, it's still back there! Okay, I guess I have just... I thought when it was honking again, that meant it was moving to the next harbor. I guess I was wrong. It's okay. That gives me time to deal with whatever's going to be over here. Because you know there's going to be something over here. Oh, God. I think the wolf noticed me. Which is honestly pretty nice. That wolf could have very easily turned and attacked and uh, won that fight. Okay, I think I turned soon enough to get away from that other wolf. Man, I just don't want to be dying constantly. Is that so much to ask for? I want to live. Ah, we're approaching the harbor. We're going to need to be really mindful about... Uh... Zombies here. Still docked. Okay, see, there is a zombie way out there. Not seeing any movement closer to us, so I think I might just sneak up the side here. I 
There's that helicopter again. Yeah, I think the plan is going to be a sneak over here. And then once that boat starts moving again, we'll just get on it. Oh, it does look like someone else might be on it, too. I don't know. We'll find out. God. These zombies got me paranoid just coming to a monument, man. I don't know... Oh god. I'll say I don't know enough about them to predict their movement or anything. Like, I guarantee you there's some over here. Wait a long time for the cargo ship to get over here. Yeah, no, there's definitely someone on board that cargo ship right now. Hopefully they get off? <laughs> I can dream, right? I mean, if I were them, I wouldn't get off. I would just keep holding it. I don't believe the cargo ship's a PvP-enabled area, so... really have no reason to get off of it. Why can you get all the way up here? Wait a second. No way. What am I doing on this? Okay, you honked again. Does that mean you're going to come on down? Yeah, I shouldn't go climb up to the top of that. I can see the other harbor from here. It's still not moving though, dude. Maybe I will investigate a little bit while I'm waiting for it. Next, it is, uh... Does it always take this much time to get moving? I don't think those are breakable. They are not. Okay. Does that mean you're finally moving? I guess I don't know that much about cargo. Oh, what? Random military crate? I'll take it. I think it is a good idea to hold on to components on this server, though. Okay, wait. So the only way to get in is here, or do I gotta jump up on this? It looks like I should be able to jump up there. I can't jump on the door. How do you get across? I will say, they did do a good job with the uh, rework, though. I just, I don't have enough yellow things to tell me where to go. Oh, wait. Cargo's finally moving. Alright, guys. Place your bets now. Is it full of zombies or just scientists? Oh. My bet, my bet is it's going to be full of scientists. Just like it normally is. And again, I've never played on a zombie server. So who knows? Maybe it's full of zombies.
The only thing I'm really confident about is that there is uh, another player on board there. That is really the only thing I'm confident about right now with that cargo ship. It is going to stop here, right? I'm not just wasting time. If it doesn't stop here, I'm going to be sorely disappointed. I'm kind of waiting for it at this point. Put that in there just to uh, make sure we're ready to grab loot. Because I don't have a way to get over to the other side. I feel like I should have a way, but I do not. I mean, I did make it this far in the harbor, right? Uh, that's that's got to count for something with the zombies around. Oh, yeah, no, that... Oh, wait. He's following this path. Hopefully he turns there and comes here. Instead of just going around. I don't know how har how cargo works, man. So. That's a learning experience for all of us. On a learning experience. I mean, if this starts rising, then I'm going to be inclined to believe that cargo's coming here. I'm also trying to see if there's anything on board. Oh yeah, here she comes. Have I ever been on the cargo ship? I don't know if I've ever been on the cargo ship. I think maybe once. The CCSC. Cobalt Cargo Supplying Company? <laughs> nice. Yes, boats turn like that, in case you guys didn't know. Wait, so this thing just turned and then stopped turning? Or just turned back? Okay, I need to pay attention to what's on board the ship, though. There's no crates. That's the weird part. All right, now it's turning again. I'm going to just try and jump on it as it drives past. But I would like to catch a glimpse if there's any scientists or anything on board. So I don't get jump scared as soon as I make my land fall. Or I guess boat fall. It's actually going to be farther away from me than I thought. Oh yeah, that's looking like it's pretty far. Oh, thank you for the lag. Love it. Well, I think I'll try to catch the first ladder. And then if I can't catch the first ladder, then at least I have the second ladder. Doesn't. Yeah, it looks like whoever's on board has uh, pretty, pretty decisively cleared everything off. Uh, I'm gonna aim for that ladder right there. Go go go! Well, that didn't work. Okay. You can't get on the ladder from in the water. Or is it because it's moving? Okay. This is a little embarrassing. Why am I swimming just as fast as the boat, though? Is it stopping? 
Maybe? I mean, it should stop, right? Oh god, it suddenly stops. Okay, now that it's not moving, can I get on board? No, I, I can't. Oh wait, there we go. It's because I'm holding the space bar like a moron. Okay, well we are on board the new cargo. Found another SAR. What is that noise? There's no crates respawning, it looks like. Oh, the cranes! I forgot that the cranes did things. Oh, man, that sign just had some pretty good loot still on him. Okay, uh, I guess it's definitely going to be worth walking walking around then. Because whoever was here, or still is here, uh, they did not do a very good job of cleaning up after themselves. Looks like there's still going to be some half-decent loot lying around. I mean, hell, we found another SAR. I hate that it does that. I didn't take the rib either. Python? Can't go in there? Be cool if you could. It looks like there's rooms in there, man. Why can't you go in? Oh, wait. You can't, just not where I was trying to go in. Let's keep giving this a check. I am going to keep checking back on the map every so often, though. Just in case the hackable crates do come back. Huh. Oh, another body bag. Take a free syringe. Jesus. Oh god, that was my legs. I guess I needed that syringe. I think I just went right back to where I was. Yep. Head down and out again. Maybe. Still no crates that respawned. So I thought they were supposed to respawn every harbor. I think this is where I entered. Seeing any more crates down here that I might have missed. What was this where I entered? I entered somewhere here. I don't know where. I know that second one was where I entered because I remember this hallway. Uh, we came up here. Man, is the cargo ship really, like, it is big, but is it really not that big? Like, I don't know, I always felt like there was a lot more going on in cargo ship. But, like, right now, 
I mean, we did get some good loot, don't get me wrong. Even from a looted cargo ship, we still got some pretty good stuff. I don't know. I feel like there's there should be more. Do the hacked crates not respawn? That that's the thing that I, I thought the hacked crates respawn. But if they don't, then I mean that that's my fault there. Uh, let's see, do we got a ladder on this side? Because I would like to go get that, uh, that fuel. Not seeing any zombies around. I'm seeing someone sleeping, though. Uh, yeah, I forgot when you hold spacebar, you, uh, essentially fall off the ladder. Yeah, I'll use the python to open them up, it's fine. Oh, there was a pig in there, that's why I hear something swimming. See, I don't trust this place not to have zombies. I swear I saw a zombie here earlier. Yeah, see? They travel in fucking groups, dude. It's horrible. Yeah, no, I think whoever was on the ship got off. Left. wanted to check to see if crates respawned on it. Should I go for these zombies? Maybe from up here. I don't know if they can climb ladders, dude. That's... Let me sneeze first. <coughs> oh, God. Alright, well, we're about to learn if zombies climb ladders. How about that? Uh, for how they're just standing there all stupid. Oh, God! Okay, they have insane arms, though. Where? Okay. Oh, God, there's a grenade there. Where are they, though? Ah, I heard a bean can dud. Oh, there you are. Oh my god, you missed. Okay, so they can't climb ladders. Uh, buy cargo. That didn't respawn anything. Not gonna lie, a little disappointed nothing respawned. Uh, I seriously thought that the crates would respawn. I'm sorry, I didn't actually want that. I will take that bean can, though. All right, well, now we know zombies can't climb ladders. So if I'm trying to avoid some zombies, climb a ladder. That, that's good to know. Nah, by the end of this wipe, I guarantee you I'll be a professional on this server. 
people won't even be able to comprehend how powerful I've gotten on this thing. How well I can handle zombies. Look, I'm so confident in my skills even at the moment that I'm gonna take a drink of water even though I just killed all the zombies. Yeah, yeah, get out of here. Didn't even respawn its loot. Maybe we will go after the junkyard crate. Because I'm thinking now, if we attack the zombies from a tower, like one of the zip lines, they should come after us. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's good stuff right there. That's a furnace. We'll cook up the rest of that and make another furnace while we're at it, too. There we go. We'll just toss that in the backpack. No, this is going nicely. Look at that cook. It's cooking nice and quick. Man, now I just need to find a not too populated uh, server that has zombies. That isn't PvE. So I can take advantage of all these bean cans. Collecting that. Look at that. Almost two furnaces just from this. Let's see, once that completes, boom. Two furnaces. Which means I think we'll be pretty much at three furnaces by the time this is done cooking all that up. And this is why the refinery is very powerful. Because the the, each of these is, what, three low grade? I think that's vanilla. Hello. Exodus Faker, how's it going? Friend might be in trying on a new Rust server we just launched. Exodus Gaming two times. All right, build a great community. Love to see you guys play. You can stream some of your adventures. Yeah, no, I, I will definitely check that out, man. I do enjoy checking out uh, new servers and everything. Let me just get out of here because I'm afraid the zombies are going to respawn. Don't tell anyone I'm afraid of the zombies, but I'm afraid of the zombies. Even though I'm about to go try and challenge the junkyard zombies again. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm all over the place sometimes. Yeah, no, I could definitely definitely give that a check. Won't be tonight's stream, because I only got about 20 minutes left. Oh god, please. No. I mean, yes, but no. Uh, I, this is actually my first time playing on a zombies server. And... Sh Oh, the zombies are oppressive, man. Normally on the Rustic A, the build server, I'm on the Rustic A zombie server, but the build server, I'll die maybe five times in a month just because I'm doing something stupid and accidentally get killed. I've died five times in like 30 minutes here. Just because the zombies are so fast and they hurt so much. See. I'm not hearing them. Those wolves better just leave. I want that crate though. I want the crate, but I don't want the zombies. See, they make noise. But I feel like if you hear their noise, usually too late. Of course, there's music here. Oh god, he's right in front of me. Oh, why are they hanging out there? Oh god. I mean, that... I do like the change of pace, I'm not gonna lie. When it comes to... I think I might use that tower, actually. Let me aggro them. Alright, they should all start chasing now. They can't climb ladders. Please do not take that as a sign to add your scientists being able to climb ladders. Oh yeah, see, look at them go. 
Look at them, they're all angry. Oh my god, let me get up a ladder. <laughs> okay. They do have a good throwing arm, though, so, uh... Hey, I didn't... I did not dismiss you guys. Oh, no. Uh... I will need to ask for your guys' patience as I pick you off slowly. Stop it with the bean cans. Oh god, one of you has a shotgun? Oh no, wait, one of them has a shotgun. Which one of you has a shotgun? Figure that out real quick. Oh, you. Ow. Man, that shotgun kind of hurts. I think I'm going to go up a level for now. They do got a good arm, though. I will give them that. Ow. Okay. Use the fire to our advantage. God. I'm starting to think this is a bad idea again. And that's the rest of my meds. I mean, some of these zombies do have guns. Not all of them, though. Jeez. They got really good throwing arms, though. Need to reload. I uh, just yeah. I mean, these zombies have very impressive throwing. Okay, there we go. The guy with the shotgun's dead. Oy, that hurts. I am trusting this last little bit of health I got. Oh, hi. Okay. Stop it with the... Oy. Okay, well, there you go. Johnny, you called it. <laughs> the bean can got me. Alright, so, uh, where was I? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Man, I have not had good luck fighting against these zombies. Yup. I do have a lot of pistol ammo. You know, we'll go for it. We'll go for it. I'm uh, I'm uh... Can I have some extra meds in here? Yeah, cool. Uh... I'm not going to keep this stuff. Get it whenever you spawn. And no, nah, who needs armor? Don't worry about armor. I'm crazy enough to pull this off, right? Don't fuck that, man. I mean, crazy, yes. Pull it off. Uh, of course, I had to be fighting on the opposite side of Jugyard from where I live. Uh, that should be enough health to get me in there. I mean, what, there were only three zombies left, if I remember correctly? Oh, wait, does this zipline connect over there? I think it does. Alright, cool. So if I could get back fast enough, maybe I could aggro them back to the zip line again. That way they won't be stabbing me. No one be throwing bean cans at me. Yeah, I think this will go over there. I do appreciate how many uh, pistols you can find, at least on this server. I don't think this is the one I was on. I... There's some over there. I'm going to just keep going that way.
Oh, someone else here now, too? Oh, no. Oh, wait, the crate's still there. Okay, I will be mindful. I, I do need to be mindful of him, though. Because that, inside that red circle is a PvP-enabled area. And... Anyone who's watched me play Rust before, you know, PvP is not my strong suit. That looks like he's taken off, though. Ah, we're back in our... In our bird's eye view. Oh, yeah. The zombies are still very much here. Let's grab all that real quick. But I had another SAR with bullets and I am cool. Uh, where are you guys? Right below me. Can I shoot you through that? No, of course not. You're not gonna show yourselves to me, are you? That guy running back and forth, man. I, I need to, if I wanna kill him, I need to go in the PvP area, though. Okay, that one has a gun. What? I didn't know you could reach. What? Okay. No, I need to I need to finish you off quick, man. Okay. This is going to be one hell of a run if I can pull it off. Cuz he's going for that crate. This is a PVP area. Yes, I thought he was. I don't know where he is. I, oh, I never got to begin hacking on it. Okay. You know what? I like that. As long as I don't run into him, I can let the timer run out outside of the PvP area. Where I can find my backpack and the rest of that. Ah, right, cool. Since I didn't engage in PvP, I can leave the area... Gather my thoughts. Gather the loot from these zombies. And then I can try to find my backpack that fell. Oh, there's my python. Uh, backpack. But if I do see that guy on the horse again... Oh, there it is. Way up there. If I do see that guy on the horse again come by, I will need to jump into the PvP area. Try and take him out. Oh, thank god. I was about to say, how am I supposed to do that? Like that. Put all that away. Clean up the inventory a little bit. We'll see what's in here. Why not? I mean, it takes five minutes for that crate to hack. I haven't seen the guy with the horse at all, though. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little nervous about him. Should keep that bean can in my hot bar. Maybe. I think I'm going to hang out in the PvP area. It might be worth it. Two minutes though. He did come running in from there the past two times. Maybe I'll just keep an eye on that. I 
I just wish I saw where he ran off to. Does it look like he was running through here trying to avoid the zombies? I didn't see him go anywhere. If he does come back though, I'm definitely going to be, uh, if I don't feel like I'm going to win the fight, I am going to shoot the, uh, computer a little bit, at least. If you don't know, if you shoot the computer, the timer actually increases. It's a cheeky little thing that Russ does. So if I could get, like, three, four shots off on the computer before dying. I'll increase it by probably like two, three minutes. Giving me a chance to come back before it unlocks. Challenge it again. Uh, I saw the tree kind of sway and I thought the tree was him just watching me. See, I don't think I have the PvP skills required to defend this if someone shows up. Timer's almost out, though. There's no more zombies. We only died once getting this crate, though. That's, that's a bonus. I got a little bit better about not dying as much. There it is. There's no way he'll know when it's free other than that disappearing. And we're gonna make a run for it now. Please tell me I have some ammo for this. 11 bullets. We can make it work. Nice. Okay. Well, that was a lot of stress that I didn't need. But a lot of loot that I did. Grab that as well. Ooh. You know what? Let's use the zip lines to return home. Let's go ahead and unload the ammo from that. We'll unload it from that as well. Just to give us a little bit more ammo in the AR. Look at that. 25 bullets now. Let's go ahead and put that stuff away. I do like that we got a better shotgun. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know if you guys have ever been uh, shot by that shotgun in a in game yet, but it is absolutely terrifying when it happens. I swear, the first time I got shot with the M4 shotgun in this game, I, I swear I needed a clean pair of pants afterwards. That was absolutely terrifying. that. Neither one of these zip lines go where I want to go. Back down the zip line, I guess. Oh, God, fast traveling. Yeah, I meant to do that. That was intentional. I have one bandage left. This is definitely going to be a server where I'm going to have to do some offline farming. Because, uh, I need more, I need to run around and get more cloth. Since even going to Oxiums is going to be a challenge. Because even Oxiums spawns in zombies. I died to those as well. I just realized the seaweed moves on this. What? That's a little fancy. Oh, hey, look, another shotgun. I will take all the free shotguns, man. I 
think we could get off on this zip line. I don't think this zip line is going to take us any farther, closer to our base. Nice. Well, now I would call that a successful run there. Got two ARs, got a bolty, which if you think I'm not gonna abuse that bolty with the zombies, you're crazy, man. I'm gonna do nothing but abuse that bolty. Then we got a garage door too, which is definitely gonna be nice to have. I don't know if I'm actually gonna use it, but it's nice to have. I think we have pipe ball now, finally. So we can make that. Once we make a tier one, because I haven't even made a tier one yet. Alright, so let's, uh... Yeah, I know the chicken's still next to the base. Oh, it's because I don't have all the metal frags yet, do I? Nope, never mind. Okay, uh, weaponry. That box is now full. <laughs> Gotta love multipliers, man. Gotta love multipliers. Uh, this is supposed to be tools, but... Can we put the rest of that in our inventory now? Thank you. That goes in there? Yeah. Um, I don't think any of you are gonna fit in there, right? Nope! All of you go in there. All this stuff can go in there. A little bit of explosives never hurt nobody. I guess we'll just use this as overflow. Put that there too. There we go. And then, yeah, we're a little short on metal frags, but... We finally have the ingredients to craft a furnace. Or three? No, just two. We'll craft two furnaces here. Because we do have some metal ore. And I think more than enough wood to cook it up. Okay, I, I might be crazy, I might not be. I swear this server's a little bit buggier than the other one. Than the 15 times build server. Furnaces take a minute to craft, don't they? Uh, we'll put one right there. Start the cooking. Put away the rest of that. How many more cloth do I need to craft into the bandage? There we go. Okay, we'll just wait for that to finish. need a hundred of that. Oh, that's kind of ironic. It's kind of funny that we ended on that. I'm going to put you next to that. There we go. We'll take half of that, half of that, and of course half of that. Split it off into there. And what else did we need for the tier one? See, I craft these once in a wipe, and I forget how to craft them. 500 wood. Easy. In fact, some wipes, depending on where I spawn in, I just go craft a tier two right away, because I normally play on it 15 times. I don't have the most time in the world. That's why I try to go after locked crates when I get the chance, and all that good stuff, because you don't got hours upon hours to dump in the playing. It was really hard to compete with people. Right, so we'll build that tier one. That'll let us build our wiring tool. Also, a 
eventually let us build the research table so we could actually start researching some of this stuff and not cry when we die and lose it. Speaking of which, actually, give me that. I'm going to select that. So that once I place this down. Go. I can just click craft. And now we can run our power just the way we like it. Wait, that. Oh my god, that's horrible, man. Why would it think I want to place it up on the solar panel like that? And yes, it's nighttime, so now we're not even going to get power. But it's about the future. It's about when it's not nighttime. I will use this to break that. Break the twig. this broke at the same time. Well, I guess when I finally decide to go fight my way back into Oxygen, we'll go recycle that down. There we go. Now we got a steady flow of metal coming in. Uh, oh yeah, no. You don't get the lights by default. How much scrap is it to get a light in here? Where's the light? Oh, there it is. 135? I can swing that. We'll take this off the wall. We, we have the electricity. We have nothing else to hook it up to. Why not have a little bit of fun with it? Uh, let's see. That was right over here. gonna say if we want to get real fancy with it actually so if I put this splitter between the solar panel and the battery then the splitter oh god see Dom my, my brain's starting to cook man okay no no I got this I'm gonna do some crazy stuff right now Okay. I mean, give me all the metal frags. Francis is doing electrical. Get ready for sparks to fly in my brain as I try to figure out what I'm doing. Okay. So, I'm going to need a blocker and an electrical branch. Which means I'm going to need 150 metal here. So, I definitely have enough. Oh, this is going to be beautiful, guys. You're about to see automatic lights in a wooden 2x1. This is going to be beautiful. I don't know if you guys are ready for this. This level of fanciness in a 2x1. Okay, so power output. Um... There it is. There we go. See, that That looks real nice, right? But if I leave it running all the time, I'm just going <coughs> to... Oh, God. It's just going to drain this battery. So, what we can do is get really fancy with this here, right? I'm going to take that electrical... gonna go over okay yeah no this is the solar panel that we're grabbing right now okay so go from there we'll just drop down like that I'm gonna go to this power in 
We're going to configure this for one power. And then this power out is going to come over here to the power in there. So that way, all but one power will be pushed over here. And if my brain is processing this correctly, once we include this blocker, we'll put it in between the light and the battery, and then we'll take the branch out and put it in the blocker. So when the solar panel starts getting power, it'll power the electrical branch, charge the battery, turn on the blocker, turning off the light. I'm a wizard. That's all I gotta say. I am an absolute wizard. Alright, so we'll put this blocker right here. And then the branch out. We'll go to the block pass-through. And then we'll, uh take the light here we want it to go to the power out and I know the wires aren't beautiful but don't worry about it I'm doing this mainly in the dark power output so see since it's not receiving power the light will be on just like we want at night but as soon as it becomes daytime which I'm gonna be honest with you is a little bit long away uh, this will be powered. The power will flow out of that into the block pass-through, blocking this, therefore not draining the battery during the day and letting it fully recharge so that at night I have light again. And I never have to worry about turning it on or off. Well, you know what? I would call that a successful first day on a zombie server. Of course, I'm not as far along as I would be if I was playing for two hours on a, the regular 15-time server, but that was still pretty interesting. I, I'm, I'm liking the Zombies Challenge. I think I might come back to this server every so often. I do want to try out your... Uh, what was the server called? I'm just going to scroll up here. Exodus Gaming two times. I do want to try that out. That'll most likely be next month, though. I know, we're already halfway through the month, so that's only like two weeks. Um, but next month, since this is weekly wipe or monthly wipes here. Uh, but yeah, I will, I will definitely give that a check. I am always interested in trying out new servers. Uh, ask Johnny. You know, I, I jumped on his server. I like it, but it's just a, it, it's a little too grindy for what I can usually do. Uh, but there are some months when I do want that extra grind. And trust me, I will be back on his server. It's, it's pretty fun. I like it. Well, that's going to be it for tonight, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in.